So I just recently cut off these seed pods from the palm tree. Wait for it. The next day, no joke, another seed pod. I'm literally considering chopping down this thing, mate. So annoying. As you can see, I've still got the ladder up. <sighs> So today's video is actually uh, answering a question from one of you subscribers. The question's on the topic of starting your own lawn care slash landscaping business. It reads, what about registering your business, insurance, etc. when you start? Assuming there's plenty of guys doing it without starting with these things. I have a full-time job that starts at 2 p.m. and would like to start up a lawn mowing business during the mornings slash weekends. How do you suggest I go about it as I have my own ute, uh, mowers, etc. So first of all, registering your business. Um, so with regards to lawn mowing, I personally feel as though uh, there are a lot of things that you can do and things that can come later on. So registering your business is one of those things that I personally view as you can just start your business, start doing jobs, get it registered later on. However, it's really up to personal preference. Would you register your business straight away? To me, if you haven't done lawn mowing before, I'd personally get to know the business first before you decide to register your business. Otherwise, you go into a whole lot of effort for nothing. Um, a lot of people don't realize how hard lawn mowing can actually be. Um, so personally, get your hands dirty and then get your business registered after when you really feel as though this is something you want to do. As for insurance, so business insurance. Now for me I feel as though um, do you need insurance when you first start? I would say no. Now the reason for that is unless you are doing commercial work you do not require insurance to do residential lawns. So um, the only reason why you would actually need insurance for personal damages, like you damage someone's property or you um, cause injury to another person, like someone's walking past and your lawnmower kicks up a rock and it flies into the person and you injure them. So really it comes down to your caution towards your surroundings. So as long as you're not doing anything stupid in the beginning, you really don't need insurance um, but some jobs if it's commercial require insurance but as you get more work you'll pick up these commercial jobs then that is potentially the time you get insurance otherwise you know you can get insurance at the beginning but you don't necessarily need it I personally didn't start with insurance um, I got that later on when I started getting a bit more money and a bit more income behind me and then you can get that. Um, in my personal opinion, it's better to just uh, get get your business started, start advertising, whether it's on Gumtree, Craigslist, or whatever, and then start getting these things done after you start picking up some jobs, such as insurance, such as registering your business. Um, and what about broken windows? You see, your excess for your business insurance is usually like $250, $500 or something like that. Um, and generally a window, the cost of a window to get replaced is cheaper than your insurance excess. So it's actually, you don't even end up using your insurance to fix windows. So therefore, insurance is actually not that necessary unless, um, unless someone gets hurt or the building burns down. Um, so that's why I suggest only really looking into business insurance once you know that it's something that you want to stick towards and stick at doing um, or if you want commercial jobs. So I hope that answers some of your questions. Um, so assuming there's plenty of guys doing it without these things, um, how do you suggest? So a lot of guys don't have these things because it's not really essential to get your business started. Um, as I said, um, it's better to just get your business started, get get some work underneath your belt, and then start getting these things sorted. Um, it's sort of like uh, you 
you just uh, learn as you go and get these things done as you go. That way you'll be able to get your hands dirty, start making some money and uh, not have all these overheads before you even start. So how do I suggest you go about it if you want to start at uh, a part-time level? Um, so you've pretty much got everything you need. So you've got your own ute, mower, um, blowers, etc. So I personally started with a sedan, a, a push mower and a whippersnapper and a blower. Um, just the three things. I just uh, started advertising on Gumtree, you start picking up a little bit of work. Um, my personal opinion is to try and group everything on uh, the one day or clumps of work um, and then that way, say if you're booking it up on a Monday, once Monday gets booked up then you start going to more days. So you might do a Monday and a Wednesday or a Monday and a Thursday or a Tuesday and a Thursday. Um, I personally think grouping it up makes it better. Uh, because you're able to knock off the work a lot more quicker, increasing your hourly rate, of course. Um, and yeah, you don't have to get out and uh, get load up all your equipment every single time you want to uh, mow, mow one lawn because you're doing one lawn on Monday, one lawn on Friday. When If you book it all on one day, you'll be able to knock it all out at once and uh, yeah, be more efficient with your time, especially if you're doing it at a, at a part-time sort of a, uh, a business model. So um, how I would suggest you go about it is again, get started first, start advertising, get some jobs done, get your hands dirty, get a feel for the industry, you know, uh, going to other people's houses and doing work. Then once you start getting some cash flow and money, get into, uh, get into insurance, um, get that under your belt, just, you know, to, to have the peace of mind, just in case things go wrong. And, uh, and get your get your business registered once you know it's something you want to do. Hope that helps. If you have any further questions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you've uh, if you've learned something new from this video, hit the like button, and as well as that, subscribe to the channels for more videos all about lawn care. My name is Hayden White, and I shall catch you in the next one.